My mom passed away on the 21st of November. Our relationship was the best relationship ever. We were best friends. We talked about any and everything. My mom got diagnosed with cancer when I was in the probably the seventh or the eighth grade. Then she went into remission and then it came back my sophomore year in high school and it came back in her lungs and her liver and towards the end of her stage of cancer they found two spots on her brain. With them giving her treatments they realized that it wasn't helping none at all so they stopped the treatments and my junior year in high school she passed away. Most people when I tell them my story they would never ever believe it because of the way that I am, but I really think it's because of how my mom raised me. I really think what helps me keep my mind off of everything is the fact that I'm in school and I'm in sports. I always worked hard all my life because my stepdad was a coach. So I've always had someone pushing me. At first, I was just like, no way. There's no reason in me talking to a counselor. My mom is gone. Like, me talking to you isn't going to bring her back. But once I talked to her, I actually like opened up and I felt like a weight was lifted off of my shoulders. I'm very interested in the counseling field. I feel like if that is the field that I would go into, I wouldn't mind. I think that I would really be able to help people because I would use what I've been through. Somebody who ex experiences a, a loss or a tragedy like that um, can learn to draw upon their own resiliency. And I think that that resiliency can be very um, contagious or inspirational to other people who might be experiencing something similar. One of the greatest qualities about Mona is she's selfless. And that's like the best thing a therapist or a counselor could become, you know. She's the person who can empathize with you but also give you very much so realistic options and advice. And she does it with me all the time. She's my biggest counselor and therapist. Mona is incredibly inspirational to her teammates and hearing her story and learning about her story, if it serves to bring people, um, uh, to encourage people to seek services um, or to get help that they need, that's really amazing. And, I, and I, I'm, I'm very glad that Mona's seeking this uh, opportunity and helping others to do the same. You came to me on a sunny November day. You were so precious to hold in my arms to stay. At first it was hard, you would hurt and cry. I loved you so much, you touched my heart inside. You are growing bigger every day. I know I must let you walk away. Down in my heart from here to the sky, you are taking steps with wings to fly. I am so proud of all that you are. You will always be my shining star. Your first day of college is finally here. I know you are excited, that is perfectly clear. Mommy will walk with you and kiss you goodbye. Spread your wings, precious girl, it's time to fly.